Quick, what's your initial national dish? Nasi goreng? That's just a way to salvage last night's carbs. Rendang? Okay, sure it's good, but that's distinctly West Sumatran. What about the rest of us? I think it should be soto, and I'll find anyone who says otherwise. Soto is a catch-all for a wide variety of traditional soups found across the country, which just about every region boasts its own version based on local taste. What's certain though is that soto is everyone's favorite comfort food. Soto Lamongan dari Kabupaten Lamongan, Provinsi Jawa Timur. Let's start with the basics, with the most OG soto there is. It's Javanese soto are served nationwide and have become popular to the point that they are essentially the stereotypical soto across Indonesia. It's also the version that has made it to the neighboring countries of Malaysia, Singapore, and Brunei, where the dish was brought over by Javanese immigrants. Lamongan soto is just one of the many varieties that come out from East Java. Even without coconut milk, Lamongan soto is resplendent with aromatic herbs and spices. Tinged golden with turmeric, it's served with bean thread noodles and are often topped with koya, a mixture of finely ground shrimp chips and dried shrimp powder. Soto Medan dari Kota Medan, Provinsi Sumatera Utara. Just like the city is named after, Medan Soto is a lot of things in one and is not quiet about it. Hailing from the cultural melting pot of North Sumatra, this dish is known for its thick and hearty coconut-based soup that is enriched with a myriad of different spices and herbs such as galangal, turmeric, ginger, and coriander. The usual protein is beef or chicken, shredded and stir-fried before it is doused in the flavorful broth. It is made more special with various condiments like boiled eggs, bean sprouts, shredded cabbage, sliced tomatoes, potato fritters, along with sweet soy sauce and chili. And of course, a plate of fries is served on the side. Tauto Pekalongan dari Kota Pekalongan, Provinsi Jawa Tengah. Many soto varieties in Java uses turmeric, which turns everything it touches to gold. But here we have a soto that is red in color. This particular red beauty comes from Pekalongan, coastal town with a strong Chinese influence. The soup's color comes from fermented soybean paste, locally known as Taucho. Known for its umami-rich punch, Taucho that comes out of this region is known to have a uniquely sweet profile, as it's processed with palm sugar. In the past, Pekalongan Tauto was only made with water buffalo meat due to Hindu influence. Nowadays, a serving of Tauto usually contains beef slices, thick fermented bean sauce, bean sprouts, spring onions, tomatoes, and sprinkling of fried onions. Choto Makassar dari Kota Makassar, Provinsi Sulawesi Selatan. No wait, come back! Give this soto a chance. This dish might look brackish, but I promise you it's oh so flavorful. Authentic Makassar Choto recipe calls for 40 kinds of herbs and spices, which includes nutmeg, coriander, cumin, lemongrass, galangal, and pepper. Roasted and ground peanuts are also added to thicken the broth. Another unique ingredient is rice water, which is believed to have the ability to remove the gamey taste of the meat. Makassar Choto is typically served with ketupat, rice cakes packed in woven coconut leaves, or burasa, rice dumpling cooked in coconut milk and wrapped twice in banana leaves. Seroto Sokaraja dari Kecamatan Sokaraja, Kabupaten Banyumas, Provinsi Jawa Tengah. Now this looks like a proper bouquet, doesn't it? Sokaraja Seroto has a signature soup that is brown and thick, courtesy of the addition of peanut sauce made from peanuts which are fried and then ground until smooth with chilies and other seasonings. This dish also uses kerupuk cantir, a special cracker made from cassava that's a must-have accompaniment to this soto. Sokaraja Seroto can either be served with chicken, beef, or both. This soto is commonly enjoyed with a side of mendoan tempe, fermented soybean cakes that are wrapped in thin dough and then fried until half cooked so they remain soft and chewy. 
Sotomi Sukabumi dari Kota Sukabumi, Provinsi Jawa Barat. Rice, rice, and rice again. Do we ever get bored of rice? The answer is a resounding no. But despite most of the varieties being enjoyed with either rice or rice dumplings, they are not the only options. There are sort of varieties that are served with noodles as the carb of choice. Case in point, there's the popular Bogor noodle soto that's served with risoles, which is basically croquettes rolled in breadcrumbs. Another type of noodle soto that's popular in Bogor hails from neighboring town of Sukabumi. The main star here is pork ribs and chewy egg noodles in a broth that lightly seasoned with garlic, ginger, and ground pepper. Topped with slices of daikon radish, it is then sprinkled with caramelized slices of spring onions, chili sauce, and palm vinegar. Soto Betawi dari daerah khusus ibu kota Jakarta. With soto, it's usually a question of whether it's made with or without coconut milk. Well, this variety from the Indonesian capital of Jakarta adds another ingredient to the equation, cow's milk. The combination of coconut milk and cow's milk makes for a silky smooth broth. It's light and never too creamy to the point of being cloying. The usual meat of choice for Betawi Soto is either beef shank or brisket, simmered with aromatic herbs and spices like galangal, garlic, shallots, makrut lime leaves, and candlenut. Add potato cubes and diced tomatoes, and the soup is to be enjoyed with rice, sambal, and pickles. Soto Padang dari Kota Padang Provinsi Sumatera Barat. Are you stuck in a boring rut of toast and cereal for breakfast? Well, in West Sumatra, you can have a bowl of soto instead. Minangkaba cuisine is known for being richly spiced, and Padang Soto packs the heat with spices like cloves, coriander seeds, true cardamom, Japanese cardamom, cumin, black pepper, nutmeg, and many more. It surely is the breakfast of champions. What makes Padang Soto unique is the beef preparation. It can be diced and then cooked along with the broth, or for a more interesting texture, it's first simmered until fork tender before being thinly sliced and then fried until crispy. The umami-rich soup is then garnished with glass noodles, scallions, lime wedges, shallot flakes, and potato fritters. Soto Banjar dari Kota Banjarmasin, Provinsi Kalimantan Selatan We love our poppies here in Banjarmasin, the seed, not the medicinal herb. Many Indonesian dishes were created as a product of cultural exchange in port cities around the archipelago. Banjar Soto is a testament to this, with aromatic herbs and spices showing influences from places far and wide like Sichuan lavage, nutmeg, aniseed, pili nuts, and of course, poppy seeds. The Soto is usually served with shredded chicken, potato fritter, rice cakes, and boiled eggs. Due to its bevy of ingredients, the soup tends to be cloudy. While cow's milk or coconut milk can be added, it's more common for banjar soto to be served with neither. Soto Bandung dari Kota Bandung, Provinsi Jawa Barat. This plain Jane will surely get your pulse racing and your tummy growling. Sure, we all love rich soups that warm our heart and soul, but a laundry list of herbs, spices, and seasonings are not always necessary for a delectable meal. There's a beauty in simple dishes that you can throw together with a handful of pantry staples. Bandung Soto is exactly like that. All you need is beef, ginger, garlic, scallions, daikon, Indonesian bay leaves, lemongrass, boiled together until beef is tender. Don't forget to season with your regular salt, pepper, and sugar. Before serving, garnish with deep-fried soybeans, fried shallots, chopped celery, makrut lime, and sambal. Voila! Comfort by the bowlful. That was just some of the most popular sort of varieties in Indonesia. But which one is the best? This is not really a question that can be answered without sending the country into turmoil. So just dive into a bowl of soto today. There's so many varieties, you can never get tired of it. <laughs>